Okay, we will add pages. So you go into the pages panel and ask for two more pages. In the pages panel menu, insert pages, insert two pages. That's it. We have three pages in our document and all of those three pages use the MSTER, which is a, like a, a style for pages, the master pages. You may compare them to paragraph styles for par paragraphs, but here, the master pages, they are styles for pages. Great. <coughs> we will go and work on the master pages. So you double click on the icon there. Be sure to double click. If you only click once, that will be a problem. You didn't leave the document pages. You didn't go to the master. You, so you have to double click and check just on the lower left, if it's written here, hey, master, that means you're working on the master pages. Okay, we'll draw a um, picture frame in, on that page, and uh, it should come on all of the pages in the document, all of the pages which use hey, master. All of them right now are using uh, the hemester, so you choose to work with the graphic tool, the rectangle frame tool, yeah, and draw a rectangle on all of the page, not the margin, not the margins. The rectangle goes onto all of the page. Great. So, you see here that the rectangle is on the hemester and all of the pages, they receive a copy of the rectangle. Make sure the rectangle really stick to the edges of the page. No space, space between the rectangle and the border. Great. If the rectangle has a size the same as the page, and if the starting point of the rectangle is zero, the top left corner of the rectangle is at the zero point, it's okay. So we'll divide the rectangle by three. The, the width of the rectangle will, will be divided by three. So let's go here. This is the actual width. And you must understand that all of these little entry boxes, they are like calculators. So you are able to do some maths into them and we'll divide by three, just by adding that sign and uh, the number three. Okay? You just add that slash bar, that oblique bar, and the number three, and then you hit enter and look what happens. You have a rectangle with a width, which is a third of what it was just before. So it's useful in InDesign to do some math in the entry boxes like that. And by the way, you are also able to multiply with the star, with the star sign to multiply and to add or subtract, of course, with the minus sign or, or plus sign, it will work. Okay, so that's a frame for our pictures. 
And as you may see on all of the pages, the frame resized, of course, because it's just a copy of what is in the MS-Tref.